So let's get to work here. Everybody remind me, first step, number one, what do I always do in a word problem? Right, read a question. Read the question. And for the person, I didn't catch your name. Who was that? <laughs> Dakota, is this an easier question? If you believe that this question is easier and you've been working with me for a bit, that's a good sign. Um, this is a this is a straightforward question. I wouldn't call it easy or hard. I would call this just a straightforward question. So the first step here is to read the question. Right here, let's highlight that. How many months will it take to reach a total savings goal of $4,200? Okay, so my party will answer me this. Um, in your opinion, what are we looking for? Let me get that back in there and there. So what are we looking for? <clears throat> We're looking for time. We're looking for time. We're not looking for the total savings goal, everybody. They already gave us the total savings goal. They gave us the goal. The goal was $4,200 right there. They give you the goal. Like your savings goal of $4,200, they already give you that. Notice over here that it's saying, hey, we're asking how many months? Everybody, do you see that right there? How many months? Yes or no? Do we see that we are looking for time here? And particularly speaking, we're looking for the amount of time it takes to reach that goal. Now, does that sound familiar to anybody? Did I, did I mention anything earlier about saying, hey, when you're saying how many of this to get the, this many of that, did, did I mention what two variables that is? How many of this to get to that many of that? Not particularly y per x, but that's the relationship between y and x, right? How many months x to get to the savings goal of y? $4,200. Yeah, are we, there we go. We're starting to see some of that. There we go. So let's write that down here. Step number one, what's the question? We're looking for the number of months. And again, that's going to be your X. That's number of months X to get $4,200. And everybody, $4,200 is represented by what variable? Y, M, or B? Which one is it? That's going to be Y. That's going to be Y. That's the total. That's the result. M, X plus B, add it all together. That gives you the result. And that's the $4,200. So boom. Before we continue, just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science, it's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description. That way you see how it works. And then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. So guess what, everybody? We're looking for X. We're looking for X. We've already figured out what Y is. Now all we got to do is figure out what M is, what B is, and then apply it the right way. Once we do that, boom, we're set. So let's focus on that setup. Step two. Step two is gonna be, well, what information do we have? So let's keep looking at the information here, reading start to finish. So Barbara is planning on saving $300 per month and she already has $600 saved. Okay, let's see who paid attention to those notes. Let's read this here, $300 a month. Everybody, $300 per month. Um, is there any keyword in there that you would really, really, really want me to circle or put in quotations or highlight? Per, right? That word per gives it away. Exactly. The word per gives it away. You guys are being quick today. Man. I love this. So yeah, per right there. 
the word per gives it away. So we're looking at that and we're gonna clearly state that $300 per month, that is your what? Yeah, that's your rate, that's your slope, that's your M. Those all mean the same thing. The word per, that's really what gives it away. But that's gonna be your rate, your slope, M, whatever you wanna call it, those all mean the same thing in today's class and typically everywhere else too. So then next, what we see is this other number, $600 saved. Okay. So everybody, what does that 600 represent? Okay, a lot of you are saying B, proven. Give me a reason why. Again, you cannot just say something without backing it up. That's not how we are confident. We are confident because we can back up what we say. Starting value began with $600. She already has $600 saved. Notice the, the, the phrasing here. Notice the context clues. B is what you have at the start, not at the beginning of the sentence. That's not what start means. In, tar in terms of the start of the situation, we already have $600 saved. That tells you that you already have that there, and then you're saving the $300 per month. Yes or no, does that make sense before I move forward? Yes, right on, man. So again, $600 already saved. And again, the key word there is already saved. So with that, that is your B. That is your initial value. That is your B. So yes or no, in your opinion, do we have enough to set the Y equals MX plus B up? Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. We absolutely do. So allow me to go ahead and just actually just delete this here, give myself a little more space to write this out. So allow me to show you how you're gonna plug things in once you actually have the information sorted out. So Y equals MX plus B. Everyone, which one of these were we looking for again? Just remind me, which one of these were we looking for? <clears throat> great. We're looking for X. And someone just asked a great question. Um, I'm not going to mention your name because you direct message me, so I'm going to respect your privacy. But the question was, how do you know X is months and Y is money? Great question. Let me try to put this in terms and in, in the easiest way possible, because there's a formal way to say it. And that formal way can definitely confuse students sometimes. But basically, there's this little thing called an input and an output. X and Y work in that way. What you put in and what you get out. Listen to me again. What you put in is X. What you get out is Y. Everyone, which one of these ideas do you put in? Do you put your do you do you put time in to get money or do you put money in to get time? Which which way makes sense? Right. You put the time in and the result is the money. So the time is X, the result is Y. So Angel and everybody else, did that make a little more sense there? Let me know in terms of understanding which one X and which one is Y. Again, input and output. Which one do you put in to get the result? Because what you put in is the X, what you get out is the Y. Yeah, that was a great question. That's why I loved it. I needed to pause and answer that question. Yeah, that was a great question. So with that said, boom, here we go. Let's plug things in and let's get the job done. We're looking for X, but we're gonna plug in what we have. We know that the 4,200 is the Y because that's the result. That's the total savings goal, right? We're trying to get to that $4,200. Then from here, we have the $300 per month. Right there, that's your M, right here. The X is what we're looking for. <clears throat> so I'll just leave that in black. And then we have the $600 already saved. 
That's your B. So before I continue, uh, M is going to be the rate at which you're saving. Charlie, that's going to be the rate at which you're saving. So with that said, my party people, does this setup make sense? 4,200, the Y, equals MX, which is 300X, plus B. What was already there? The 600. As long as you're able to, to get used to plugging things in in the right place, you've given yourself a very valid opportunity solving this the right way and get your points in the ASVAB. Because now that we're here, what we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation. So this is where I mentioned earlier in class, hey, there's two parts to this. There's the setup and the solution. If you understand how to get this set up, you're in a good spot. We can work on the calculation and your, your solution speed. We can work on that. Allow me to take over here, solve this. But if you don't quite get it, don't worry. You're good. So let's solve this. The goal is to get the X by itself. And right now, it's a 300 with the X. And then you have that 600 all the way on the outside. So what I'm going to do, is I like to use the box method here. You know, I like to box things in to show like what's the innermost and what's the outermost when I'm solving. So this is me just taking it back to you know my old school stuff. But if I just go ahead and show the little box method here, boom, notice that the 600 is on the outside of the box. Like it's almost on the outside. It's the outermost thing. That's the first thing I'll take care of. Everyone, solving equations is the art of what? Mm-hmm. Booyah. And so with that said, boom, let's go ahead, work backwards here. <clears throat> and Seth will go ahead and answer that in a moment. I got you. So bam, subtract 600 on both sides. Help me out, everybody. I'm bad at math. What's 4,200 minus 600? I'm bad. I'm bad at math. Yeah, 3,600. Okay, great. Cool. And allow me to just copy this over so I have a little more room to write with. Hopefully my big old head doesn't get in the way. And then from here, everybody, we see that we have a 300 times X. How do I get rid of that 300? Opposite operations. If it's 300 times X, what do I do to get rid of that 300? And it's me again, your coach Anderson. Look, you're doing these problems right here on YouTube, but I want you to join me for a live class that's free once a week. I do this because I want to help other people succeed just like you. So if you want to raise your score, sign up for my free classes once a week. They're hosted on Zoom. And on top of that, you'll get my free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. So there's no reason not to sign up. So go ahead, get off your butt, sign up here, the link there, somewhere over here, figure it out, but sign up and I'll see you in the next class, my ASVAB party people. Let's get back to the problem. I'm going to ask one more time because everybody but Jonathan's being lazy. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> Jonathan, thank you. Divide both sides by 300. Don't just say divide. Divide both sides. It's an equation. Keep the balance. Both sides by 300. And so that's exactly what I'll do last. Bam. Divide by 300. And that's going to be 3,600 divided by 300. The zeros there cancel. The zeros there cancel. So you have 36 divided by 3. And that will be 12 as your answer. Bam. Everybody, 12 what? What's the answer? 12 what? 12 months. And that's how long it'll take Barbara to get to that savings goal of $4,200. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.